<laughs> oh, oh, that hurt. We got this guy doing donuts right here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My fellow car enthusiasts, welcome back! I am Alex the Car Guy and I have a slightly different video for you today. I am actually big on RC cars and scale car scale models and today I'm gonna review the Go Panda Ultra High Speed 4 Wheel Drive Rally Car. Now this happens to be a 118 scale 4 wheel rally car and they advertise this thing as being crazy fast. Now this is rated at approximately 30 kilometers per hour. How much is that in miles? That's about 18 miles per hour. That is pretty fast in my opinion. Now, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more than a toy, something that's more hobby level grade, you might be interested in looking at this little car that also won't break the bank. A lot of the parts in here are serviceable and removable, so this car can potentially be customized. And it has a battery that is rechargeable, so we won't have to worry about battery batteries. Four heavy duty shocks and and springs again serviceable and very large meaty tires so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you what you get inside of this box when you purchase one of these gold panda RC cars and then I'm gonna take it out so we can test it out and see how well it, it drives around as always I have placed a link in the description down below if you want to look at this remote control car further or acquire one for yourself or as a gift for a loved one and starting with the rally car itself it is actually quite compact as you can see here this thing is roughly about 10 and a half inches long and roughly about seven inches in width so it's gonna be easy for us to travel with and take this out whenever we go out somewhere and the body can separate from the shell as you can see it is held with this four clips right here you can potentially swap it out for something else and in the rear of the car we have this large wing it is flexible it's probably made out of nylon and the fact that it's flexible is actually a good thing because if this car flips over this is not gonna break easily now on the bottom of the car again you see more of that nylon injection mold the construction on here which is pretty durable this large section right here is probably going to be able to take quite a bit of beating and protect the electronics underneath now towards the front of the car you have a nice bumper over here that can be replaced as you can see there are screws down there so if this were to break or if you wanted just to for some reason get rid of the bumper you can potentially remove that front part in the rear of the car there is also a rear bumper which is quite interesting and again is serviceable and removable if for some reason we wanted to take it apart now before i show you what it looks like underneath the body i do want to show you this as you can see the four wheel drive system uses metal drive shafts which is pretty cool and there are actually very nice bearings in here so this feels very very smooth and there is a nice differential in here which we're going to get a better look at right now as you can see, it has springs, has a, has a nice bounce to it, but there are also shocks internally. So this is actually a shock and a spring. And in the front, we also have metal drive shafts. And again, those metal bearings in there. So it is gonna roll very smoothly. Now there are a couple of holes. I'm not sure if those will take some LEDs because this car controller does support LEDs. But let me show you what it looks like underneath the shell. And removing the shell is as easy as removing these four clips, two in the front, two in the rear. But I wanna show you something. As you can see, these things right here that stick out have different positions. And again, that's to accommodate a different size shell. So if you wanted to change the look of the car and the other one may have a little bit of a different height, you can potentially do that because of the different heights that they are provided inside of those little posts. Once all of these things are removed, the entire shell can come off and we can look at the goodies inside. And starting with the front suspension, you can see again that assembly of the shock and spring and all of this can be disassembled. So if you wanted to swap out your springs for some harder or softer, you can definitely do so. Now the shocks internally in here are not filled with oil. However, because they have made this very modular, you could upgrade this to oil filled shocks, which would allow you to run either uh, light or heavy oils and change the way that the suspension works. Also notice that we have been provided with additional spots to move the suspension. Now, if you move the point where this is engaging from either the top or the bottom, that changes what we call the fulcrum of the suspension. So that will change the progressiveness or whether it becomes hard or firm 
a certain points in the suspension travel. So just a tremendous amount of adjustability in this car, how it comes from the factory but a lot of potential to upgrade this in the future as well. And moving towards the rear of the vehicle, the battery is gonna be located right here, low on the body, providing us with a nice low center of gravity. And the motor is also placed in the center of the body. And there is a large heat sink attached to the motor to help keep the temperatures down and extend the longevity of how long this will last. Now the controller is all self-contained in here, and notice this. There's a stubby antenna and that is because this is an internal antenna. If you saw there was nothing that stuck out the body and having an internal antenna is nice because there's nothing that sticks out or can potentially break. Now there is a simple power button over here and there is that provision for an LED system. So I might look into adding an LED lights to this car later on. But I also want to show you that there is a differential in the rear and a differential in the front. And again, that is because this is a rally car. So it has a four wheel drive system. This guy will drive all four wheels at the same time. And the wheels are of a nice design and have a nice size to them. But if you wanted to change them out, you definitely could. There is a lock nut in here that can be removed and the wheel can come off and you can swap it out for something else. And this is the battery that you get with the remote control car. It is a 7.4 volt battery with a 1500 milliamp capacity. Now to charge the battery, they include this tiny little USB charger and it has a little light on here that turns green when the battery is fully charged. And I do wanna show you what loading the battery in the car looks like. This can be moved to the side or up out of the way. The battery can be inserted in here and then this thing can be locked in place. Now, once this thing is locked in place, all I have to do is connect this connector right here and I am ready to install the body. And here's what the remote controller looks like. Now the remote does take three AA batteries to power this and there is a nice grip that is provided on here. Now this car operates on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency and it has both accelerator and brake control and also proportional steering. Now the steering right here has nice padding to it so it's comfortable and it can also be trimmed. So if the car is going a little bit towards the left, we can compensate for that and make it go straight. If it's going towards the right, we can do the opposite. Same thing, the accelerator can also be trimmed and adjusted so we feel comfortable driving it. And here's a nice power on button and light indicator showing us whether it has paired to the car or not. And again, we can see that there is no antenna sticking out of this controller. Everything has been integrated and hidden, which makes this system easy to travel with because there's nothing that sticks out and can potentially break. And we also get a little baggie with extra clips in case we lose any of that hardware. And we also have a Phillips screwdriver for dismantling the car and a little mini lug nut wrench for the tires, <laughs> that's pretty neat. And they also include this backpack style carrying case, which fits the car and remote controller, which will allow us to take our car on the go, perhaps when we're on a walk or when we are traveling. And finally, we get an instruction manual in English with nice pictures and illustrations that show us how to operate the car. But this is my favorite part. They have pictures and the names of all the parts that make up the car and an exploded view of the car. If we decide to take it apart and service it or clean it, we know exactly how to put it back together. Now, hopefully a lot of these parts will be available as service parts that we can buy separate in the future, but most of them look pretty standard. So they should be compatible with spare parts that can be bought at an RC hobby store. And now I'm here testing the Go Panda Mad Racing RC four wheel rally car. And I got a second one and we're gonna see if we get any interference. We'll see how far they go and how fast they are. <laughs> <laughs> An improvised jump. <laughs> oh, oh, that hurt my knee. <laughs> well, at least we know the bumper works. Uh, I'm coming to rescue you. Push, push. No, now we got two cars stuck. <laughs> All right, four. <laughs> Our cars are getting trashed. Come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. How'd you do it? How'd you do it? No, mine, mine is just digging itself into a deeper hole. Oh, oh, oh I got it. 
<laughs> now time to shake off some of that dust. Oh, back up in here. Oh, that's a cool little turn. Now they rate the battery on this bad boy at 40 minutes. I imagine that depends on how aggressive you're driving around with them. But uh, we've been playing with this for some time now and they're still going pretty strong. <laughs> and actually reverse seems to go as fast as, uh, as forward, which is interesting. I would love to see these things at night with LEDs. We got this guy doing donuts right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got all wet now. <laughs> all right, ready? One, two, three, set, go. Here's the aftermath of our destruction rally. <laughs> the car actually fared really well and we didn't break any parts. I was surprised because we crashed it pretty hard against a couple of things. For example, I crashed mine against a couple of bricks and you can see that that's the most damage it took. The bumper itself did not break, but if it had broken, it could have been replaced. Also, you saw how the suspension worked in, in places that was kind of deep in terms of leaves and off-road environments, but also work good on the pavement. So that was a lot of fun to toss this car around and we had no interference in between both of the cars. It would be cool to see them if they have them in different colors later in the future so they're easy to uh, differentiate, especially if you're racing them. The only thing that happened to mine is I actually lost a clip. I don't know if I didn't put it on right or it hit something and it fell off, but that's the nice thing that they included extra hardware for us to replace. Now the GoPro that I mounted on it didn't fare so well actually. The This part just totally tore up and I come to think about it, I should have put a, put a case on it, but it was something that was improvised. So if you guys want to look at this car further, remember I put a link in the description down below. The Go Panda mad racing car was a lot of fun and I think I'm going to equip it with LEDs and have some more fun with this thing in the future if you guys found any part of this video helpful please hit the thumbs up button to support the channel if you have any questions regarding this car please put them in the comments down below thank you guys for watching and as always i'll see you on the next one